what is going on guys we are back in the gaming cave with yours truly for another pickups video and this time it's car boot edition um i do apologize guys i've been like uh not very organized i was basically on a run of shifts right and then i was on a couple of night shifts over the weekend and i didn't have time to uh clear my gopro of previous footage and then you know so it was all good to go for recording um at the weekend so yeah i just kind of had to turn up at the car boots it was like after my night shift uh the one on the saturday that was at like midday before my night shift on the saturday night and then yeah once i finished sunday morning then i went straight to my local so um yeah i'll go through them very soon um but first shout outs I've been meaning to do this for like months, literally probably since last year or something. I'm so bad at this, like I do apologise, it just literally slips my mind because when I just like record these pickups video, I just get everything here and then just record and then afterwards I'm always like, oh, I didn't do the shout outs, did I? Like I've promised people, um, but yeah, these people don't ask for shout outs, they're just literally channels that I love and I believe they deserve way more damn recognition. They really do, they deserve so much more. So um without further ado honestly massive shout out to 8bit h he is one half of the car boot bible if you've not seen that channel uh they haven't had any regular content um as of recently or anything but they did some awesome pickups and car boot episodes so definitely check out the car boot bible 8bit h he's got an awesome new series out um it's retro who wants to be a millionaire or who wants to be a retro millionaire um, and it's basically who wants to be a millionaire with retro gaming questions, which is awesome. So I've been watching the first few episodes of that, and uh, I just think that's a really cool idea, a really unique series. So I definitely want to give you a massive shout out with that man. So I'll, uh, you know, include like a thumbnail on screen and whatever. So definitely go over and check that out. I think that's like a wicked idea, I really do. And also, Dad and Lads Gaming, really enjoy your channel, and I've been commenting to them on uh, Instagram as well. So, really enjoy your pickups videos, man. And also, Skip Rat Gaming, um, I've, I've spoke to him briefly just on the on the comments on his YouTube videos. Uh, I've not really like spoke to him like loads or anything, but I just think he's a decent channel. He's got a really cool um, like collection games room. He's been working on um, doing a, I don't know if it's like a racing simulator or something. I've been meaning to like watch it, but he's been like doing all the seat up and everything for like, uh, yeah, some kind of like racing simulator. I think it's just a seat maybe for his racing games. I've not properly checked it out, but yeah, I'll, I'll stick that on the screen. And I'll, I'll stick all these links in the comments as well. And uh, I, yeah, I love his enthusiasm and love for games as well. So shout out to you, um, Skip Rat Gaming. And then you you probably know who this guy is anyway. It's Kieran Retro Reclaimer. Um, I actually met him uh, like for the first time, not in person, but he was like over a live stream on Dainster's live stream. Gaming chat with me, Kieran and Dana. So massive shout out to your channel. I really enjoy your CEX pickups videos and like your general pickups from when you've been out and about and stuff. So yeah, you you might you guys might know his channel anyway, but yeah, it's a wicked channel. So shout out to you, man. Top guy. So I guess you could call it a shout out to a special person in my life, but basically um i don't know if a lot of you guys know but um i spoke with my ex-partner earlier this year i'm in a relationship now with chloe she's my girlfriend and we've been together for a few weeks and she is also a gamer which is wicked uh, which brings me on to the first car boot because i wanted to show you guys what i uh, got for her she loves the nightmare before christmas stuff and uh, i found some really cool items i already gave them to her the other day so i'll pop up a picture on screen so i got um it's a really nice um like a little statue thing I'm fucking gasping out of my inhaler. <laughs> I'm not excited to do this pickups video. Um, I can't remember what he's called. Is he called Jack Skellington or something like that? I could have got it totally wrong. I, I don't know because I don't watch it. But it's like a little ornament of him like that with his head in his hands. And there's also an official Disney picture frame as well. You'll see all this. I'll put a picture on whatever, wherever on the screen it will be. And um, also, really cool. It's, um, it's a Necker item as well. Really good brand. Uh, you see them at like do like a comic con stuff like that they do obviously like gaming uh movie related stuff a uh, really cool brand and it's basically like a a bit of a calendar thing like there's a couple of um they're kind of like just like dice and they got numbers on you can put them however you want like to represent like the date and then there's like a little bit underneath for the month so it's like a little date thing and there's also like a little drawer on it as well it's just a really cool little design so uh yeah I basically got them three items right and some brand new iphone headphones all for three quid so that was an awesome little bundle from the first car boot this was the saturday midday one so that was wicked um 
I was I was a little bit well I say I'm late I wasn't even actually late to it but it was like spitting a bit it was raining a bit on that day um, I literally got halfway there it's about 20 minutes away from me and yeah it was spitting but I thought I'm not turning back now <laughs> like, I'm just gonna rock up there to see what's what um so I think it's the sellers can go in at half 11 buyers can't go in till half 12 but I got there I think it was probably about 10 past quarter past 12 and everyone was already allowed in because you know if it's spitting with rain they just literally let everyone in anyway because there's kind of no point in just letting everyone just stand there well you know they could be just cracking on and starting the car boot so yeah it was already kind of open so I believe I might have missed some games um did get a game related item I'll, I'll have to show you what on a picture it is a turtle beach uh headset it's only a one ear one though but it was all brand new and unused so i grabbed that and then i did say to him you got any game stuff and he said oh no guys just bought them on i was like fuck <laughs> so yeah i think i like missed out on some games yeah it's a shame because uh like i say I, I actually got there early but um with them opening and just let people walk in kind of missed out so um yeah it's unlucky on that one but um yeah i got a few bits anyway what else did i get i got like a <laughs> I i'll show you on the picture anyway i got like a bloody little gucci bag for my mum for her makeup and whatever i think that's literally about it and then the last thing i got it's um a simpsons uh, fridge magnet and it's maggie obviously i remember having these right we had these at my nan's when i was younger we had like the full set and that actually goes for money on ebay right now um i've actually seen these magnets for about 15 20 quid each <laughs> it's unreal but i wouldn't get top dollar for this because i've liked it over with a baby wipe, but there is some like uh, remaining staining <laughs> didn't mean to make that rhyme but I, I don't know there's some like underlying kind of stains um, and just some little edge wear so not really going to get top dollar on it but it was just 50p or 20p it was something like that uh, but yeah I, th I thought I'd grab it and just see what I can get off that um, ideally you need a full set to get the top dollar for that but um, they're, they're quite hard to find I don't know what year they're actually from because it doesn't say on here it just says uh I always say Matt Gronin. I don't know how to even pronounce it. The creator of The Simpsons just got his name there, but um, yeah, you really need the full set. But they're quite hard to come by, so yeah, I might just stick it on on its own and just see what's what anyway. But we did awesome. We did awesome, guys, on the Sunday cab in the morning, right? Um, he rocked up there straight off a night shift like a zombie, like that. I've shown the dead. <laughs> So usually my local starts at like five in the morning it still technically does for for sellers not for buyers um because before opened at five in the morning gates open for everyone everyone just rocks up and then you can just literally you know as cars are pulling in and then unpacking you can just kind of dive in well you know what i mean in a polite way and whatever as uh, polite as you can <laughs> and then just buy stuff and you know as you go but with this one they actually open at five in the morning for the sellers to go in anytime and then seven in the morning that's when it opens for the buyers to actually go in so um yeah basically i had the six six night shifts so i finished at six in the morning put my foot down <laughs> and i got to the car boot and uh yeah i got there for like half six so i was half an hour stood there um and yeah it was just basically it wasn't like a, a full-on like queue single file interview it was just literally you had the car boot there row rows upon rows it was late, nearly a full field awesome turnout this is the second car boot of the season i missed the last one because i was working i'm going to be missing a lot because i'm working unfortunately but i am pushing uh to get them to put me on some night shifts whenever i am on when, whenever it's like where possible um i said to her there was laughing on the phone it's funny i was just like uh would you be able to like put me on night shifts when you can because it's quite convenient for them because no one likes night shifts whereas i do i love night shifts I just prefer them they're just as busy but i like them um so yeah i was pushing to uh just see if we could do that and i was like you know i just love to go to the car boot after work that's all there was laughing <laughs> it's funny fancy requesting that honestly that's how committed i am guys to you guys in this channel but anyway uh <laughs> so yeah got there for like half six you had all the rows and then there was just all of us just lined up <laughs> just literally you know like the green street movies when they're either side you know at the train station when the train passes and then they're all mouthing off at each other like that in lines that's what the line's like it's like 40 of them up waiting here all getting very fucking excited
What else are you going to do on a Saturday? Sit in your fucking armchair wanking off to pop idols? Then try and avoid your wife's gaze as you struggle to come to terms with your sexless marriage? Then go and spunk your wages on kebabs, fruit machines and brasses? Fuck that for a laugh. I know what I'd rather do. Trot them away. Love it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, I was just, I was near like one end. Um, so I stood there and I was like, stood parallel to this stall and it was like a couple of stalls from the end there was um putting up just before seven o'clock there's putting up the one-way system sign so you had to obviously you had to just go like certain ways like down each aisle but people still didn't listen though like it, it was funny i was just going down some aisles and like evading people and stuff and nearly bumping into people and i was thinking why am i nearly bumping into people not everyone follows it um and in all honesty you know, I've been to two car boots of the season so far, what I'm just telling you about now. And there's no real social distancing, in all honesty. Like, I don't really see how you can so be socially distanced at a car boot. I genuinely don't know how you can, to be honest. So, you know, my advice to you guys, if you're rocking up to car boots, just be, you know, be sensible and wear masks, you know, and, and gloves if necessary, you know. But, yeah, it's not been overly socially distanced anyway. But I had this eye, I had my eye. On this stall right i was just literally staring it out like a hawk yeah so i saw an xbox 360 console two controllers i saw some games as well a stack of games i was like that's mine you know you know wayne's world when he goes it will be mine oh yes it will be mine when he's like staring out that electric guitar in the window <laughs> that's kind of me it will be mine oh yes it will be mine I was just literally staring like a hawk for like the half hour I was there. I was like, right, as soon as we're allowed to go in, there weren't any barriers or anything. We were just literally stood in a disorderly line. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as soon as we were allowed on, Powell walked straight to that stall. And luckily, it was the, at the end of the row, so I wasn't breaking any rules going the w wrong way down an aisle or whatever. So I went straight there. I was like, how much is your Xbox stuff? And I straight away got in there, like, <laughs> mega quick. Um, and while I was stood there, like waiting, you know, till seven o'clock, I, I was going through in my head. I was thinking, right, how much am I willing to pay for this? Because then it kind of stops me being all hesitant when I'm there, like when I'm, you know, because I'm trying to think to myself, how much am I expected to pay? Because I want to just get that deal done and then just literally go to this end and then just start, you know what I mean? Going that zigzag one way thing, you know what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, I ended up uh, buying it, obviously. It's just down there, I'm about to show you it. I actually ended up like leaving it at the stall and then picking it up a bit later on because obviously when you're whizzing about at the beginning, I had my bag of change in my hand and everything and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't like cart it about while I was... So I just did the deal and then I was like, can I just pick it up on the way back? And so, yeah, luckily I didn't forget about that. Yes, holster, you didn't forget. <laughs> like I do everything else. Um, but yeah... I was thinking, how much would I pay for this? I was thinking 20, mm, that's a bit much, I think. I'm starting to pay a bit less, really, for the, like, 360s and PS3s. It's just because, like, you don't know if they're working, you know. But it had a couple of controllers with it, not just one. It had two controllers, which is a bonus. And uh, I would have paid up to 15, I reckon, for it, in all honesty. But I said to him, how much for it? And he said a tenner. So I was just like, yep, yeah, absolutely, do that. Even if, worst case scenario, I've not tested it yet. I've, I've not had time at all. I will be testing it shortly. I'll let you guys know if it worked. Sherry's unconscious. I have the antidote. If I give it to her. Blair, what's happened? Not now. Come on, Sherry, wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. It worked! Oh, sh so even if it doesn't work, the controllers have still got value with them, do you know what I mean? It'll be alright, anyway. So, it's really cool, it's got a different faceplate on this. So, what type even is it? I haven't even looked what type it is, what gigabyte. You know what, I've not even looked what gigabyte, guys. My apologies. <laughs> I'll have to get back to you on that one as well. Yeah, I've not yet powered it on or anything. I might be being newbie because you might be able to tell, but there's nothing on the serial um sticker anyway my bad but it's it's really cool this it's got a, a strangle hold i hope you guys can see it properly 
if it gets back to the edit and you, you can't see it properly, I'll put a picture on or something. But really cool faceplate on it anyway. Stranglehold. I remember, I, I can't remember if I own it or not, but um, I briefly played the demo of this. It was when I first got my PS3. I was impressed with it back then, but I can't remember if it holds up very well, though. I've not. It's not a game I've um, gone back to and played, but I wouldn't mind playing it because I thought it was a cool looking game. So that's all pretty nice. Fingers crossed it works anyway, guys. Um, and this is all good. It, there's no, like, um, rust or anything in the battery compartment on that. And this one, I need to, like, get a pen or something because I can't actually, I can't get it open. It's got one of them um, playing charge packs on the back. I can't uh, actually get this open. It is quite welded on. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see anyway. I'll sort that later. I'm not very prepared, am I? But yeah, I'll, I'll let you know on that anyway. So a couple of nice controllers. And then a few games as well. The wires are also down here. And it also came with like a, a big ass freaking Ethernet cable underneath, which is really random. But yeah, he gave me this box. You know, he said all the wires are in there. So it's all there. All the uh, AV cable and power supply. And then it came with three games, which is a bonus. Um, I believe I own all three of these. We've got Medal of Honor Limited Edition. Not sure. I would double check on that one. I can't remember if I've got it or not. Splinter Cell Conviction. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So not bad for a few games included as well. Not the best, but that's better than nothing anyway. So not a bad bundle at all for a tenner. I think you guys would probably pay that, would you? I think that's a decent little bundle. It was a nice um, start to the car boot. Don't worry, I'll support this. Um, right, so, we'll get started. I, I really wish I'd have recorded this. Like, I, I really do apologise, guys. I've got no um, car boot footage, because uh, this lot would have been decent on the footage. Some right bargains in. I think, like, I did I did awesome at this car boot, considering. You know what I mean? Because it's like, like, at first, the car boot was, like, really good. But then as I made my way to the later rows, I didn't, like, find anything. Because, obviously, they'd have been, they'd been got by other people. Because all, the, like, the usual traders were there. And people who look for games and stuff. So, um, I kind of had this first bit to myself. Like, I, that's where I did really well. And then I picked up a couple of games towards the end. Like, not amazing ones, but ones that I wouldn't mind having. Um, so, yeah, it's just, that's the problem. So, I didn't kind of have the whole car boot to... To look at that second half that already been picked over so there was no remaining game stuff or anything so i kind of had like half a car boot if you get me if you get what i mean um so anyway first stall it was, it was pretty much one of the first stalls um so a load of xbox games i thought banging there was label there was priced but not bad prices right okay so minecraft a fiver so cex currently give these are prices all at the time of recording i've looked all these up um so this is actually wednesday the following wednesday from the sunday while i'm recording this so fiverr and cex give a uh, 13 pound store credit so all good i've checked all the discs and everything we're all good um i initially skipped past this but i went back and got it i got the sega mega drive ultimate collection for four quid and cex actually give 10 pound trade i can't remember how much they actually sell it for but um, I do know that the trade credit value is a tenner, which is wicked. Um, I thought it'd have money in it. I thought um, it'd probably be about six quid, but it has gone up. But, guys, I absolutely recommend get this compilation. Please do. I, th I believe it's out on PS3 as well, and they brought out one for the Switch as well. But it is literally it's one of my favourite compilations. I would absolutely recommend it. It's got, like, your Sonics, your Streets of Rage, your Fantasy Star, Altered Beast. There's, there's just all sorts on it. Golden Axe shinobi 3 there's just loads on it um so i'd absolutely recommend this even got rise star there's some absolute classics on this so yeah i highly recommend this compilation i've recommended it in previous videos as well and then i also got overwatch this was four quid and it trades in at cx for 12 so some decent profit on them ones already um this is one just for the collection i didn't really want to barter them down it was two quid um, and I, I think it sells, you know what, it sells a bit more at CX, I remember I looked at the trade credit value, it is Cooking Mama World Kitchen 2, or oh, Cooking Mama 2 World Kitchen, I don't know the order, but it's all complete with Manuel, I'll be keeping this for the collection because I've wanted some Cooking Mama games, I actually want to try them, I'm a bit of a sucker for these types of games, I actually really like them, 
um but I, I did i did look it up at cex and i thought worst case scenario we actually trades in for four quid at cex so it's not bad um loads of the the trade credit um values have gone up obviously since the lockdown especially on the wii because you know it's a with it being a family console even the wii fit they're selling the wii fit balls for like 25 like for a wii fit board you get 10 pound trading value and then with the game with wii fit the game as well it's 15 quid it's absolutely unreal um yeah it's, it's just been crazy rocking the the cex prices all over the place um i've only just noticed this is a 505 games game as well which is cool so yeah i got it for two quid uh, i didn't really want to bar them down i just thought i'll just grab it anyway so nice little game for two quid so that's for the collection another one for the collection is uh sonic riders i got it for like one pound fifty um I, i'm sure cex sell it for about three quid it's not a high value one or anything but i just thought it looked pretty fun uh a sonic racing game it might not be that great but um you know it's one for the collection so i thought i'd get that sonic riders so i'll give that a go uh two quid for call of duty modern warfare 2 uh, I did a quick search initially before the car boot on the Call of Duty games and um, none of them as of now I don't think they hold any value. I can't remember about Black Ops 1 because that did at some point a little, a little bit of value anyway um, because it, it does pay off if you get for like a quid and 50 p they're not too bad but in this case it was two quid the guy won't budge him really on prices um, and he did have a lot of other games um, he had like a really nice Ridge Racer game for the 360 uh, again not a lot like a high value one or anything but i would have really liked it first i said would you do two for three quid he said yeah um but this one wasn't affected but there was loads of all the other 360 games that they, they had all like water damage all all waves and ripples along there like there was all water damage at the bottom so i was like i just can't pick anything else up there was nothing else trade value wise so got this for two quid and it actually trades in at cx for six quid so if you do see this about do grab it I don't know how long the obviously the trading value is going to be remaining at six quid but that's not a bad little uh profit margin trade credit wise um a couple of 3ds games i literally i never really get these at the car boot uh i've usually been i'm usually like, really unlucky with ds bundles i'm always like really late to them ds games especially pokemon ones but no this time guys we've got an awesome pokemon one we've got pokemon moon for two quid absolutely wicked not the ultra moon but it's a, it's a standard moon now, i checked all the cartridges and whatever real quick when i bought them so this trades in at cx for 13 quid and jurassic world i got off two quid as well i wasn't sure about the trade credit value but i thought i'd pick it up anyway because even if it's not that good i'll just um i'll keep it anyway um i believe actually I don't know if I have this on the Xbox One, I think. I'm sure I picked this up for Xbox One, actually. But anyway, uh, I'll most likely trade this, because I'm sure four, five, or six quid at CX trade credit, something like that, at the time of checking. So, yeah, I'll put all the CX values up anyway, so you guys know. Um, another copy of Minecraft, a fiver. So, I'm not arguing over a fiver. I'm not going to try barter down, because it's pretty decent. Um, and, you know, they're still giving 13 quid. Uh, trade credit and like ages ago they was giving like 20 quid for, for it for this one um but yeah it's gone down a little bit but that's all right still uh still great trade credit for that and then um on this stall there was a load of like dvds and i found a few uh, ps3 games in there uh there was there was like some sport ones and really not like worth it or anything but i said to her how much are your games because it was originally dynasty warriors gundam that's the first one I saw and she said they're all I think she said they're something like six for a quid or five for a quid or something but I actually couldn't find anything else I really wanted I just said I picked this up as well because this was like the next best kind of game prototype I've actually not played it myself um but I won't mind getting it for 360 at some point I don't collect for PS3 only like the exclusive games so I just grabbed them I said we do 50p for both and she said yeah so um i believe that's only that 140 uh trading at cex and um this one it's actually four quid i thought i'll just give it a quick check because when i first saw it i just thought it's quite um unusual i just thought it was quite an unusual game so uh i thought i'll give it a quick check so it's not bad for four quid um yeah i've not played any of the dynasty warriors games um i was i was actually thinking is it um 
related to Gundam Wing at all. The um, is it anime? I, I won't call it a cartoon. I think it's like more anime, isn't it? If you guys remember Gundam Wing, but I don't think it might just be just the word that they've used. I, it might not be related to it, but I just remember Gundam Wing. It's just a bit of a throwback. That uh, original Game Station stickers on. How cool are they? Honestly, I love them kind of stickers as well. The ones saying won't be beaten on trade-ins. I love that. I love them ones. It just looks so cool. It's like, you know, not all serious ones like game or anything. It's just like all graffiti-ish and stuff. I proper miss Game Station. I absolutely do. So, our final one is also... Yeah, I took a second look at this because I thought it might have had some trade credit value in. I thought I'll take a punt on it. And it paid off. So, it's Hanna-Barbera DVD box set. So, there's 10 DVDs in here. So, the cartoons that are included... You got Flintstones, Wacky Races, Dastardly and Muttley, The Perils of Penelope Pitstop, Top Cat and Hong Kong Fooey. Um, so I got this for three quid. I thought he was going to say more than that. He said three quid, so I said, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, and it actually trades in for 11 quid at CEX. So that's not bad at all. So we've done decent, guys. So that is it for this car boot. I'll show you a game I got off eBay. Um, I, I paid literally the going rate for it, but it's awesome condition, I say that, but it's got a couple of cracks in the case, but I can just literally swap the case out, but it's the contents that are really nice, and it just includes everything, and I'll tell you why I got it as well, it's not just a snowboarding game, in my eyes anyway, right, Trick and Snowboarder it's called, you can get like a classics version as well, but I wanted this, like, I wanted the proper, you know, proper version, original version, whatever you want to call it, and it's actually made by Capcom, yeah, and I can't remember can't remember for the life of me what video it was i can't remember what channel i was watching but very recently i was watching it right and as you guys know i bang on about it like every single video resident evil 2 on the ps1 of dreamcast whatever n64 is my favorite game of all time and they've included leon kennedy claire redfield and a zombie cop on this game as playable characters i don't know if they are cheats or unlockables or you could already get them but i found out from this youtube video i was like wow i mean who does not want to snowboard as leon claire or a zombie cop it even says it on the back as well an added bonus is the inclusion of special hidden courses and hidden characters from capcom smash hit resident evil 2 learn the secret code and be able to select learn the secret code <laughs> it's the days of the internet now i can just google search it <laughs> Oh, that's wicked. So I can't wait. I'll inc Well, while I've been yapping on, I'll make sure I've included some uh, footage of, um, of that stuff. had to go buy it i had to buy it asap so it's it's gorgeous condition it's just got a couple of cracks in the case that's all so it's all really nice it's got a nice chunky but funky manuel it's one of them chunky but funky ones i really like all the artwork on it as well i'm i'm literally not even going to play as them characters at all i'm just going to play as the resi ones i literally can't wait and as a bonus it includes one of them little postcard thingies virgin interactive postcard which is awesome so I just like it when they're all nice and complete like that and the disc is literally minty it's gorgeous it's a really awesome example this guys it'll literally be like minty after i've swapped it um 
for a different case. I do a cheeky case swap in it. So yeah, I'm mega happy with this. Um, I never would have expected that. But obviously it didn't surprise me once I saw Capcom. It was a snowboarding game by Capcom. But what an awesome addition for survival horror fans. So if you're a fan of Resi 2 or survival horror, the Resi games of them characters, I do recommend Trick and Snowboarder. So that's absolutely wicked. So they are the car boot finds. Just want to take a quick step back into the archives. So these are games which I've picked up previously in the past and I've not had time or not a chance to show you guys on videos. Um, but I assure you I've not shown you on the videos. I don't think, anyway. So I actually bought this. It was off one of the game groups. It's for the going rate, uh, pretty much. So it's Manhunt 2. I've still not yet played it. But I'm a big fan of Manhunt 1. I'll show you my copy of Manhunt 1 in a minute. Um, so yeah, it's all really nice and complete. I don't know what it's like or anything. I don't know if it's all kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it, like kind of dumbed down or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if any extra violence has been taken out. It's still obviously an 18, but um, like Manhunt did get banned for a bit or something, didn't it? I don't know, or was it this one? I'm sure the first one got banned for a bit anyway. Uh, you can still pick it up in places, but um, yeah. Don't know how this one is to the first one. But I've always been a fan of this. God, I must have played this. I was literally... Let me show you the date of something, right? Can't remember where I got it from. I think it might have been cash converters. Obviously, my mum would have had to buy me it back then. Go to the counter for me. But, um, oh, it's absolutely wicked. Oh, there's an enemy in it. I think he's called Piggy or something. He's wearing, like, a pig's head. And he's got a chainsaw, I think. And you've got to um, defeat him. <laughs> it's just an awesome game. I, I actually love it. Um... <laughs> I mean, if you don't like violence, it's not your type of game, stay clear. But I love violence. Um, I don't mind explicit video games. It's damn fun. I don't mind. It's just a video game, in it. at the end of the day. But um, I think it probably came in a blue case. Um, you know, just a, a standard PS2 blue case. But I've just always kept it in the transparent one because that's how I got it. I don't know. Um, I'll compare it to some copies on YouTube. But I, I don't. Th on, um, on eBay, should I say. But, um, yeah, I, I think I might have a special copy or something because <laughs> it's in a, a transparent one. Right, where is it? 2003. I've got this, right? There's, I mean, I'll cover up the address anyway, but it's my old address anyway. Um, but my address is, like, on the back of the postcard. can't remember how I, like, obtained this, but I did actually put it on... I had a notice board, like, in my old room in uh, our previous house. And so, hence why there's all, like, them them pinholes in it. But um, I kind of, I'm sure I kind of sent away for this, or I was, like, subscribed to something. I can't remember. I must have been subscribed to something, or somehow I received this. It's just a really cool postcard. Um, and it says, the wait is finally over, my friends. L. Starkweather. Out 21st November 2003. So I would have been about 10 then, because I was born in 93. So uh, I was literally playing this game at 10 years old. It's hilarious. But, uh... <laughs> See, video games don't make you violent, guys. It's like one of the most violent games ever. And I'm a big softie. I'm a nice person. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you guys that. Because I've not shown you, obviously, Manhunt 2. I don't believe. And I just wanted to show you that really cool postcard that I've still got. From 2003. In my uh, original copy. Um... Well, I say original. I think I got it from Cash Converters anyway. But anyway, if you like your violent games, manhunt. So guys, that is it for this week's Kabu video game hunting and pickups video. I do apologise again about the lack of footage. I will get my GoPro sorted out so that we're all good to film next time. So hope you guys are doing well. And if you're attending the car boots, just make sure you know you, you keep yourself as safe as possible. Wear mask and gloves where appropriate um, whenever you can. Just keep yourself extra safe. And as always, thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. So take care guys and I'll see you in the next video. See you in a bit.